You'll find your Cry Tools installer path or the executable inside of the Tools folder. Before we can execute the Cry Tools installer, we must first use the Settings Manager. Right click and click Run as Administrator. This will come up and say that there is no active build for CryEngine found because you've never used it before. The easiest thing to do is use Settings Manager's.exe's location, which is going to be the same path that you executed this program with. Clicking that, you will now find that the build location of CryEngine, which on my D drive under CryEngine now found the resource compiler in the tools folder. The RC is right here and the tools are right there. Also in the settings manager you have the ability to run resource compiler commands. By clicking the question mark you can bring up different flags that can execute depending on what you need to do with the resource compiler. Closing this, now we'll go to the CryTools installer, right click, run as administrator, If this is your first time bringing up the CryTools installer, it will say only install. You can also uninstall if you have previously installed the package before. For this one, I'm going to click install and proceed with next. The CryTools installer will automatically populate this window with packages that it can provide plugins for. In my install, I have 3ds Max, Maya, Photoshop, and Motion Builder. All of these have been properly labeled at 2016 because that's what I have installed. You can also use the XNormal plugin, which will allow you to bake normals with the CryEngine standard tangent basis. Clicking Next it will install everything. I didn't have XNormal installed on this machine, so therefore it didn't install it. I'm going to click Close. And now I've gone through the automatic Cry Tools installer process and installed plugins and tools for my CryEngine development.